welcome to Thursday here with my little friend the Charango. That's uh, an instrument from Bolivia and Peru. Oftentimes the traditional forms of it are made out of an armadillo. Uh, but it's an 11 string, I uh, take a 10 string instrument and uh, five courses. And uh, it's tuned very strangely, I won't get into all of that. Hey, today is our day for our second student paper. I've sent that to you online and written a paragraph by paragraph, or at least a section by section account of what is there. So I encourage you to take a look at that. I am not going to comment at length like I did last time uh, on the, uh, the text. I think if you just look at what I have written, that will be sufficient as a kind of breakdown for what's going on in each section. However, I do want to encourage you that at this point in time, you should be on the way to writing this paper. You must push off from the dock. You must start chopping the olives. Whatever metaphor you want to use, you have to get going. Uh, oftentimes, I've found that the, the step that really keeps people from pursuing this is that they can't find research materials. And of course this is very challenging right now because there uh, is no opportunity to go outside your home unless you, uh, and the libraries are closed quite frankly. So uh, I've uh, found one thing that's helped me find a, a books for a number of people who've uh, come to me and said they couldn't find anything. And that is uh, look for the title of the book that you might be looking for and uh, then when you go to Google, put the title in, in quotes and then put PDF after it. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll find uh, a copy of that book in PDF form up on the web somewhere. Sometimes it's part of Google Books, sometimes it's part of another site that is uh, you know, compiling books and putting them online. And sometimes it's just some rogue, you know, individual out there who decided they wanted to put the book online, even though it goes against copyright, uh, you know, uh, laws. Uh, in any case, you might get lucky, right, if you do that. Uh, I'd encourage you to do that. I also sent around that list uh, last week, last Saturday, I believe it was, of uh, various different books I found that are old, but if you're doing historical characters uh, or historical persons, then you might find those books of some use. So I'm not going to make any extended comments on the text that I sent out. The, uh, the text that I wrote in green after the, the student paper, uh, I think will suffice on that. But let me tell you what we have coming up next week, and that is we're going to start in with uh, Kundera's identity. Uh, identity number one, number two, and then on Thursday, of course, the research paper is due. Uh, but you'll notice that when you get to the identity page that the assignment is taken down and it doesn't exist. There's going to be a broken link there. And that's by design because what I want you to do is to read the book first uh, without what the assignment is because that's going to change how you read the book if you know what the assignment is. So I want you to kind of experience the book the way that Kundera, the author, uh, intended it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a book in many respects uh, It's a very complicated book and, and works on a number of different levels. One of those levels is what we call a metatextual level, so it's a text about texts. And in that respect, uh, you know, I'll be talking about this more uh, next week. Uh, it's a book that you kind of have to be wary of how you're reading it as a text because that experience is central to the meaning of the book. So I wish you good luck and uh, continue to read and research and collect notes, collect information, start to sort that out and organize it, much like I did with the Jamgon Control that I illustrated uh, last week also. And then once you have everything organized, well then, it, the, the paper should be easy to write. Then you kind of just move from one fact, one statistic, one piece of information about this person that you have uh, to the next. And, uh, keep it organized under the headings that you have 
uh, indicated in your intro. It's real simple. It's like connect the dots when you've done the research. If you haven't done the research, then it's then you're uh, in for a lot more pain because there you're probably going to be uh, panicking and making stuff up and leaping and in terms of what you can find and how it connects to Gladwell's ideas and that's where papers go off the rails. Okay. So again, uh, good luck and we'll see you next week. Take care.